Viscosity Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flow. It is the internal friction acting between the layers of the liquid, analogous to friction when a solid moves on a surface. The difference in the speed of flow of different fluids is due to the difference in their viscosity. Here, we are using the Stokes method to find the viscosity of the liquid. Principle When a spherical body of radius R moves down through an infinite column of highly viscous liquid, it will attain terminal velocity after some time. Then the upward force due to viscosity, which is given by Stokes' law, is balanced by the downward force due to the apparent weight of the body in the liquid. That is, 6 pi eta rv is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube into rho minus sigma into g. So, the coefficient of viscosity can be calculated as eta is equal to 2 r square into rho minus sigma into g divided by 9 v, where rho is the density of the spherical body, sigma is the density of the liquid, eta is the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid, r is the radius of the spherical body, v is the terminal velocity of the body. Materials required Falling ball viscometer Two spherical balls of same size Screw gauge Vernier calipers Stop clock Thread Procedure Calculate the least count and zero correction of the screw gauge. Find the diameter D of the first ball using the screw gauge. Now, the radius R of the ball can be calculated as R is equal to D by 2. Calculate the least count of the vernier calipers. Measure the inner diameter of the viscometer using the vernier calipers. Hence, its inner radius can be found. Drop the second spherical ball called test ball gently into the liquid. Note the position at which it acquires terminal velocity. Mark a reference point A below this position using a thread. Mark another reference point B below the point A using a thread. We can change the position of thread B to adjust the distance between A and B. Place the first ball whose diameter has been measured gently in the liquid. It falls down in the liquid with accelerated velocity for about one third of the height. Then it falls with uniform terminal velocity. When the ball crosses the point A, switch on the stopwatch and note the time taken by the ball to reach point B. If the distance moved by the ball is D and the time taken to travel is T, then velocity V prime is equal to D by T. Then the terminal velocity of the ball can be calculated using the relation V is equal to V prime into 1 plus 2.4 R by R. Now, the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid can be calculated by using the formula eta is equal to 2 R square into rho minus sigma into G divided by 9 V. We can plot a graph with the square of the radius of the ball along the x-axis and terminal velocity along the y-axis. The graph is a straight line. Its slope gives the value V by R square. From the graph, the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid can be calculated using the relation eta is equal to 2 by 9 into rho minus sigma into G into 1 by slope of the graph. Applications Falling ball viscometers are used for measuring the coefficient of viscosity of transparent viscous fluids, measuring the flow of engine oil under different temperature conditions, analyzing the flow properties of milk to design suitable piping systems and checking the viscosity of jams and syrups to ensure batch consistency are some areas where we use falling spear viscometers.